Welcome back, here we are. One of my favorite subjects, rusted blade screws. So today, we're gonna have a go at this 14 inch punch bottom block and try and get the screws out. So since last video, I've been doing some sandblasting and some of it anyway, but the most important bit I wanted to get blasted was the blade block. Now I'm gonna get my camera lady to come and have a zoom and you can see what we've got here. We can see how fragile, this is cast iron. Not all blocks are, but most, most of the older stuff are. And you can see just how fragile, We've got cracks there and damage there. Ideally, I'd get a second hand one, but I think it's gonna be very difficult to get one of those. So I've got to repair that. Probably a video for another day. But meanwhile, we're gonna try and get the existing screws out. I'm gonna turn it over and then we'll have a look. You can see they're not gonna come out very easily. And there's lots of ways to possibly get these out. Uh, you could use something like an impact driver, which most people have seen, something like that. And then obviously in the case of a just an ordinary head, you probably just with the hacksaw just just clean it up a bit so you can get your screwdriver slot in there. Obviously you'd put it in the vise. Ideally you'd, you'd have soaked these screws in oil weeks before uh, to get that. So there's one, you wanted a little bit wider one, but yes, you could use an impact driver, whether it's the bottom blade ones or the thrower plate ones. And obviously you hit it and you make sure you're going in the right direction to undo. That's an option, that's one option. Um, I don't really want to bang that because you can see it's very fragile and I think I'm just going to make it worse. Another option, you could just drill them out. Um, that's another option, you could do that. Um, another option, which I tend to do quite often, is I would probably use, I would soak them and probably just use something like that and I would undo them like that. But what I would suggest if you're doing it is when you're hammering, hammer against the, 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 the back of the block rather than that way, because I think if, especially on this one, I think if we started doing it like that, we're just gonna end up with a lot more of that. So if I was using this, I would be trying to undo it and hammer from the strongest part. I don't really want to do any hammering. So what we're going to do today, we're going to try a little tip a friend of mine gave me, and I've been doing it on the last few, and it seems to work quite well. What we're going to do, we're going to build these heads up with weld, and the heat seems to get into the screw, and if you build them up enough, you can get hold of something like the mould grips and unscrew them. So I'm hoping if we do that, we can get the remainder out without doing any further damage. So it's just a question, we've got an art welder there, uh, that same thing as I used to repair the roller on the follows and baits. So it doesn't have to be an art welder, it could be a MIG welder. Um, you could use gas if you wanted to, but what we're gonna aim is just we're gonna get a lot of heat into the head, build it up, and then we're gonna see if we can, with the mold grips, unscrew them one by one. So we're gonna support this first. I think we're gonna have a go at that end first. Probably, so let's get this in the, this little device here. Let's just stabilize that. Right, turn it around here. Get that on there. That's right, have a look where we are with the welder. So that's probably about where we want it. So what we're going to have, we're going to have a little bit of flash photography. So I'm going to shield this a little bit. Hopefully uh, it'll uh, shield the light because you're not supposed to be looking at the light on these arc welders, TIG and MIG welders. Please note this next clip shows flash photography. You may want to skip or look away. Thank you.
So you've just got to be sort of patient with it. You've got to just sort of just keep building it up till there's enough to get hold of. Takes a little while, but I think in the end, it, it can save you a lot of bother, drilling and tapping and swearing. I'm pretty sure, we'll have a look in a minute, but I'm pretty sure these, the screws in this Suffolk are a quarter. Uh, they're gonna be probably uh, Whitworth or UNF, but we will see once we've got the first one out. Assuming we get the first one out. Get it as, as, as high as I can, and then we'll see how we get on. Obviously the aim is, is not to get any of the weld on the bottom blade itself, we'll never get it off. Obviously at the same time I'm trying to get as much heat into that screw as possible. Now I don't know whether that's enough, but there's going to be, let's sort of see what I've got, we'll chip away the, chip away. This, this may, may be enough or not, but we're going to see now whether it will, I might have to do some more, you can see I've actually missed some of it, but let's just, let's just see what happens. I think I'm going to have to do some more, so I'm going to get my camera lady to stand back a bit. We're going to get a bit more on that. how much of that is actually weld but we'll keep it away. Hopefully I've not got any on the blade otherwise I really won't get it off. So as you can see, I'm just working it and it is coming out. So there it is, look at that. So that looks to me like it's a fine thread, so I think that's UNF. So that saved me a bit of bother. So a cunning little tip, you can always learn from somebody. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with doing them all. They all will cut, well, I'm fairly sure they'll come out. 
you just got to be patient keep building it up till you've got enough to get hold of and we'll just turn it over let's just turn the welder off there we go so we've we've got it out without any damage that could have been drilled out it could have been but i think it's quite nice that i don't have to apart from probably clean the threads up a little bit with a tap that one's good and i'm fairly confident if i do the other four i can get that out but there you go a cunning little plan so there's, there's no i think at the end of the day um there's no there's no right and wrong way to do this um, it's never easy. Bottom blade screws are always rusted, always rusted. But when you've got a cast iron block as this one has, you do need to be very careful. Like I say, you could drill them out, use an easy out, these little easy outs here. Um, I just don't seem to have a lot of luck with those. Um, so we've got one there. So you, you, you drill a hole and then you'd, you'd wind the easy out in and uh, once you wound it in, as you wind it out, it grips and supposedly draws it out. But I don't know, it's probably maybe the way I'm doing it, I don't know, but I never seem to have any luck. I always get the feeling that as you're sort of winding it out, it's swelling the screw, but I might be wrong. Um, I don't seem to have a lot of luck with those. I tend to drill them out or I knock them out with that, but I think the secret with this, any of this, is patience. You need lots and lots and lots of patience. If you if you soak these screws for long enough, or you say you threw it in a bucket of diesel, um, no doubt um, you would get these undone, whether you use the impact driver or a punch. Um, but you need to be careful. So um, so there you go. Anyway, that was a little a little tip a good friend of mine, Ben, said, and I've used it on many, well, quite a few bottom blades recently. And it saved me a lot of fuss with drilling and tapping and breaking screws off more than anything. These little projects take us long enough. The easier we can make it, the less work, the better. Anyway, there you go, bottom blade screws. Grrr. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and the next video will probably be a little bit more on the Suffolk 14 inch early punch. Till the next video. Thanks for watching. Ah, and one last little thing, just before I go, I'd like to thank everybody who's subscribed to me. I've just made it over 200. So thank you very, very much. And I hope you do enjoy the video. Comments, welcome. I will try and reply to all of them. Till the next video. Bye for now.